Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I want to share a haul with you. It's kind of the stuff that's been coming into the office over the last month for upcoming videos. And uh, first up, I want to share with you these really fun Stampendous stamps. Um, these are Halloween themed. I think they're just really fun. Some are creepy, some are cute, like the little house mouse. Um, and there's a lot of neat collage ones, which make quick work of card creations. They also have this Harlequin design, which they have a Christmas one too, which is very very, uh, very fun and just vintage and actually they have quite a few. I, I like the vintage style ones that they have. And these, um, these little skeleton you can dress up is just kind of kind of funny. It reminds me of the guy on the beer commercial that's like, I don't always drink beer, but when I do, but then there's all those funny memes. So I think there's like fun to be had with that stamp set. Um, so I'll be using these on upcoming cards. If you see a stamp set that you really love, that you'd love to see me use first, please let me know. Um, these were sent to me by Stampendous. They have the new fall and winter catalog coming uh, out already. And uh, these will be in stores. So you'll be able to find them pretty easily. And some of these um, have been out for a while. Oh, I like these leaves. These leaves are actually something that Stampendous has been doing lately that I really like is they'll take a, a design and they will make a couple stamp sets to go with one die set. So you're not stuck with just dies that will go with one set. And plus, I like these basic shapes that you could cut even if you didn't have the um, the stamps to go with them. So I think that's kind of useful. That's what I usually look for if I'm going to buy a die to go with something. I like to see if I can use the die without the stamps as well, just to have a little more versatility because they take up space and they can be, um, they can be quite expensive. Now this, um, this is totally fun. I think the kids are going to have a good time playing with this. Um, it's not necessarily something I would have picked out for myself, but I also think it's going to be really fun for cute cards. I'll probably use it in some of my kids' classes. Again, the gorgeous backgrounds. I think that would be fun to layer with like maybe some cloud stamps or some other ones that I have. And these whimsical little witch uh, legs and cupcakes and skirts and it's uh, just kind of fun. Fun, fun stuff. Fun, fun, fun. If you see something you want to see me use right off, please let me know in the video description, in the comments below, and I will try to make it happen. So I was at, uh, I had to do some re retail therapy the other day and uh, AC Moore had a great deal on canvas, packs of 10 canvases for like 10 bucks, like stretch canvases. It was crazy. And so I'm not going to show you those because they're just stretch canvases. I bought packs in different sizes and they're in store. I've stored them already. But while I was there, they also had um, their tubes of paint. I mean, the little bottles of craft paint, the My Studio craft paint for 25 cents. They were four for a dollar. And while I was um, shopping, a, one of the sales girls came up to me and, and she saw all the canvases and all the paints that I had. And she goes, are you a teacher? And I said, yeah, I got to stock up now because this is the best time to do it. Because sometimes we're painting on like newspaper or paper bags or just wooden crafts. And I'm not going to use my really expensive Liquitex. It would just you go through it and be so expensive. And I wouldn't be able to afford to bring these classes to the kids. And um, she was, well, you could get our teacher discount. And I said, well, I'm not a public school teacher. I'm just doing these programs at the library. And she was, you're still a teacher. Just let me know when you cash out. And so I got these for 21 cents a piece. So I, I mean, I was just thrilled. I couldn't believe that they would let me um, use a teacher discount. 15% off is what you get off of everything. 15% off. It's really great over at AC Moore. And, um, and so she goes, just next time, bring in some sort of um, identification. I just decided to save my um, like uh, pay stub from the program that I teach, and I can bring that in next time. Um, so as you can see, I really stocked up on the paint. I also like to use this for jelly printing because a lot of people are using the Golden Flow acrylics, but those puppies are like five bucks a one ounce bottle. And I don't really see the benefit of using those over the cheap paints. Maybe if I was going to really spend a lot of time on one print and I was going to sell the print, yeah, I'd use my Liquitex. But for most of my stuff, I'm just fooling around and making backgrounds for cards. And this works just as well as the Flow um, Artist Grade paints for, you know, pennies on the dollar for the price. So that's why I use these. Plus I can experiment with a lot of fun colors I generally wouldn't buy. Um, and then what else did I get? Oh, yes, I've been asked for some jewelry tutorials. So I picked up these, they were on sale. And then I, of course I got my 15% off discount on top. I had these little resin flowers. I thought they were gorgeous. They would be cute on cards, but they're kind of bumpy. I'm going to use them for jewelry. I also got some bigger roses in that coral color. I got some kind of jade green um, resin roses. And then I got these little turtles. And um, I think 
they're resin. They feel like ceramic, but I think they're resin. But anyways, I figured I can get three pairs of earrings out of these and a couple of bracelets if I use other beads. And um, I mean, one pair of earrings would have paid for the whole strand of beads. So that's kind of how I look at my uh, my bead purchases. It's like, okay, how many earrings can I sell to, because my earrings make the money, everything else just kind of breaks even. Uh, so I got those. I thought they were really cute. And while I was at um, AC Moore, oh, I also grabbed these. They were on clearance for, um, this is funny, they were on clearance for 48 and we always go through black Sharpies. And I'm like, well, they had both, the bold and the fine, the fine tip and the ultra fine. And I thought, you know what? I'm getting the ultra fine because sometimes I like to do pen and ink and bring them to my watercolor class and I don't have to fret over these getting, you know, injured since they're only a dollar a piece. Um, and I'm glad I chose the fine ones because I was at Martin's a couple days later and they had boxes of 12 Bic Markets for $3.99. And there were, so they were the two packs. They also had the two packs on the room for 79 cents. So if you are local, uh, I would check out Martins if you want to stock up on your permanent black markers. I bought two boxes of these because it's cheaper than Sam's Club and I go through the black Sharpies. Everybody needs a black Sharpie. They, you know, they disappear in the junk drawer. Um, oh, and also while I was at AC Moore, I got um, this. I've wanted one of these for a while. Let me just move this down off my table. Oh my goodness. I have a lot of things have piled up this month. Um, I've wanted one of these spinny racks for paints for quite a long time and they used to be like 40 bucks and I saw this it was $25 and I went up to the to the lady at the front because I had another company's coupon another craft store's 40% off coupon and I went up and asked if I could use that on this um, and she said she said yeah but hold on a second I might have a better coupon she had a 50% off coupon in her like little envelope behind the cash register she goes you can use this and that will give you even more off so um that made it like to 12.50 and then with my teacher discount i got this for ten dollars and 61 cents so i'm excited to set it up and put my new paints in there um because that's that's fun i can carry it around i can i can bring it from room to room or to class or whatever so i was pretty excited about that that was ac Moore, and uh, i was I, I just was so thrilled that they brought that discount up to me and um I mean, it was just such a, such a great deal. And the packs of 10 canvases I got for like $7 or $8.50, which is what a great deal. Um, Rubbernecker, I got these from Rubbernecker. They are the version two of Ken Oliver's Color Burst. And now they come in a really cute little package. Um, but they're kind of more earthy tones. You got the burnt orange, Terra Verde, uh, Terra Vert, Indigo, Sepia, Merlot, and Yellow Ochre. So really good for those fall cards. So I'm looking forward to using those. Um, I also got this package from Butterbee Scraps, and we're actually going to open this together. I'm kind of excited. This is, um, they are a scrapbook company discount, scrapbook supplies, and jewelry supplies. They have um, really gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. I'll put links to all of the companies that I mentioned below, but um, I mean, these... This is a set of six little resin cameos or little fairies. And I checked it out on their website. I think it was like $4. I mean, that's six necklaces or pins or whatever you can make. You could totally sell those and make some gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Some beautiful resin flowers. These, um, these filigree things. These are uh, these like uh, metal components. Oh my gosh, the owl. So cute. These poinsettias, it looks like. These little filigree um, flat metal pieces are so good for scrapbook pages. I'll be using these on some scrapbook pages. I'm really anxious. We get together, not anxious, excited. We get together, me and the girls, every, um, oh, every spec to school time and we crop and so I'll be sharing the scrapbook pages I make with these uh, on my blog. So make sure you check that out, thefrugalcrafter.wordpress.com. Little wooden snowflakes. Apologize for the furnace. Can you believe the furnace is going on at the end of August? These gears. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna see I'm having a good time because I haven't looked at this yet. This came in the mail yesterday. These little gears, which would be great on a steampunk theme page or home decor, like a, a box or mini album, anything like that. I mean, and they're really they're not thin, they're hefty, they're not like just punched aluminum or anything. They're really high quality, which is uh which is nice. You got these alphabets wooden alphabets which will be great on a scrapbook page these are tiny little i think they're resin tiny little black flowers which would be nice for halloween these um, i believe are glass or acrylic tiles yeah these are tiles and bubbles to go in little glass bubbles to go in some of these little frames these little cabochons we've got these um more beautiful filigree pieces Oh, little square tiles. There must be some square pieces to go for those to go on. This is a gorgeous assortment. Oh, we got these little 
charms here. So this is butterbeescraps.com. Again, a link in the video description. This, oh, those are pretty. That would be pretty with like kind of some like ribbons and beads coming off of that, maybe to kind of frame a page. And uh, oh, some more little filigree pieces, leaves, rhinestones. Oh, those are lovely. Those are really pretty. Clear, flat backed. Oh, the AB finish. Rhinestones are really pretty. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Gorgeous. Oh, some other colors too. Wow, she really sent a good assortment here. Looking forward to uh, to using these. Oh, look at those. Oh my gosh, you know what you could do with these? They've got a design on the back and they've got a flat spot in the front to make like a, a pendant. But you can actually use like a nail polish enamel and like color in the little design that's on the back and have a double-sided one, which is nice. And little mittens. So cute. Oh my gosh, this is an assortment, like a Christmas assortment pack right here called Jingle Bells. Well, that is that is so cool. You'll definitely want to take a look around that website if you like to use these little metal charms and resin charms in your work. Um, and a lot of times I make my own, but sometimes it's cheaper to buy them. And little corners, like box corners if you want to do like a cigar box. I'm going to pause it and get back to the hall in a second because it's just getting too loud down here. Ah, the sound of silence. Okay, so this kit is kind of fun. I typically don't use kits, so I'm looking forward to using this one. And this is the Watercolor Wishes kit from Stampin' Up. And I'll put a link below, of course, just like everything else, so you can check it out. But um, the thing that's kind of cool about this is that it has everything you need to make a bunch of cards, and I'm going to show you how to use it in an upcoming tutorial. But what I like, I want to show you this. Uh, the sentiment set that comes in here is really cool. It's got a lot of really great um, basic ones just to note. Huge congrats, you're in my thoughts, you are so loved. Happy birthday wishes, happiest birthday wishes, thanks, you're amazing, time to celebrate. So I like really useful, versatile sentiments that are a nice size and so this is great. I don't have anything quite like this, so I'm excited for that because of the stamps alone. But then, I'm gonna open this right up and we can take a look. There are die cuts, or chipboard die cuts here that are watercolor. I know a lot of people want the look of watercolor, but they don't feel quite uh, ready to take it on. Um, there's little sequins, there's pop dots, a uh, mounting block to fit all of the little stamp mounts. So it's a nice starter set if somebody is just kind of wants to get into stamping, maybe wants to get into watercolor, that watercolor look without making a big mess, without making a big investment. The kit's like $35. Um, it comes with a couple little Stampin' Spot inks. And you know, if you really loved them, you could always get the right inkers for them or you could get the bigger pads. I don't think I have either of these colors. Watermelon Wonder, um, Night of Navy. I do have a big pad of Night of Navy actually, of the old style. I don't have any of the new spongy ones. Um, and this, these are little chipboard die cuts or veneer, what are they called? Are they veneers or they're like little, almost like little plywood kind of, they're wooden cutouts. So they're really a trendy, modern looking, very, um, very fun, clean look. I think that the whole kit has a very clean look to it. I'm just going to pull this out and take a peek here because I haven't opened this up. I just got this yesterday too. Um, so I'm really excited. I, it's kind of fun to look through all the stuff that I'm going to be using in the, in the next month. And th so that your background cards have the watercolor look on them already. Uh, it'll be a great way to make a sweet set of notes. And actually, this was back ordered. I had to wait for mine. So if you do want this kit, you might want to check it out and order it before they're all gone again, um, especially if you want to get it for a gift or make a bunch of these up for somebody. So this little, and it comes with the envelopes, which is always nice. And what is this? Oh, a little idea booklet. Oh, look at the idea booklet with all the different things that you can make. So that's really cool. But of course, you can mix it up however you like. It's got some washi tape in there. And um, it's just a fun kit. I'm very excited to play with this. Um, I think this might be one of those nice uh, nice kits to take to a crop if you're not exactly sure what you want to do, but you know you want to make something. So that's the Watercolor Wishes kit from Stampin' Up. Again, it was back ordered and it just came out. I think it just came out in the the book this summer, the July book, and it was already back ordered. So just to let you know, in case you wanted that to create along with me when I do this video in a, in a couple weeks, you'll have your stuff. Of course, the video will be up, so it's not, you know, it'll be there. Um, and what else do we have to show off? Oh, this is kind of coming up in a, in a while, but I did, I guess I will give you a sneak peek of it since we're right here and we're doing this. Um, and I also want to say, you know, this is my job. I uh, work with many different companies to bring fun uh, projects to people. So it's, you know, 
it is a lot of stuff and it's a lot to take in but of course you can always use what you already have when you're following along with the tutorial but if you do see something that you want demonstrated please let me know um this is a vintage harlequin design i was telling you about from stampendous so i probably won't get to using these until um october but um I have a thing for snow globes. I love that you can put different snow globes in that snow globe or stamps you already have. I just love versatile stamps. Vintage, adorable. My girls have actually already used this. I think this is super cute and a nice snowflake set. The thing about these really big sets that I really like from Stampendous is they come with stencils. They come with a mask both the negative and positive so you can use them with your spray inks or to mask when you're stamping which takes a lot of the work out uh house mouse house mouse reindeer I, I have quite a few of the house mouse christmas stamps i collect those they're they're so fun to color and um this is another nice one for doing bulk cards or toppers or present toppers you got the uh, poinsettia stamps and then you've got the dies to build them up and layer them like a paper toile which is really a pretty look it's gorgeous on top of just a plain craft wrapped gift and um and it's also pretty on a card but i really love it as a gift topper i'll have to show you that in a uh, in an upcoming tutorial again it does have the little stencils with it and the masks with it so you have a little more versatility especially if you don't want to get the dies and um i've been eyeballing this set for a while so i'm glad that that it's finally out and this was actually i have this because a viewer asked me to demonstrate the pop-up die from stampendous so i've got to learn how to use this and then share with you guys how to use it because i've never used it before i'm kind of excited for that and oh something else um Gel, gel transfers. I've been asked to do gel, gel transfers for, for a lot of people, so I'm going to try that. So I've got the Soho Gloss Gel. It's actually all from a kit uh, from Jerry's Artorama, and uh, so we've got foam brushes. I think it's like a class pack kit. Um, gloss gel and you know, spray bottle and varnish and little ATCs and scrapey things and panels to transfer on and the most important thing probably which I will need will be the instructions on how to do it. So I've got instructions. I'm going to be hitting the library for some uh, toner based photocopies and, and playing with this and sharing with you how to do some transfers coming up in the next, oh maybe next week. That was um, next week or the week after. I'm kind of, um, I've never done a, done a good gel transfer so i'm hoping that this kit will uh will be foolproof because this fool needs that and uh, i think that's going to be really fun and also i've got a home decor project coming up i'm going to be making a wreath and uh with a banner on it a wooden banner that can be um changed up and i want to kind of make the wreath so it can be changed for different seasons and i'm going to use these markers to do the banner so that it can be revamped all the time on the wreath uh that's my plan anyways because i got those wreath forms and i think i showed you my last haul for 69 cents so i'm going to be doing some die cutting of like old book pages i think and making uh, making a wreath with that so if you have any um requests for any of the things you've seen today that you want to see me do a tutorial on sooner rather than later leave it in the comments below i'll put links in the video description to all of the fun things that i have here i don't know if ac Moore does this stuff online i'll put a link to their um to their website you could print off a coupon and go to the store if you live near one but i i don't think they sell much online that's my only peeve with ac Moore is their online presence is not that hot you really have to go in to uh to get the deals on like some of the other stores like joann's where you can you know get the deal online with better selection or you can go in the store so that's uh, that's the only thing i have a hard time finding i think everything else is pretty easy to find of course the sharpie deal the big market deal at martin's martin's is a local store for me in maine um but other than that everybody else is online butterbee scraps is uh is online they've got a great um great little web store there so with stamp stamp pendants you can find pretty much at, at your favorite retailer which is uh which is helpful and um yeah that's pretty much it uh thank you so much for watching and please don't make i hope this doesn't make you feel like you need to run out and buy everything um i think it's cool to see the new stuff and i also think it's cool to apply the techniques to things we already have so um and this is my job so please i don't want anyone to feel kind of bad if they don't have exactly what I have because that's fine we all have different things and that's all right okay enough blabbing thank you so much for watching please give me a thumbs up if you like haul videos and until next time happy crafting